The shortbread with the cranberry and oh. a little bit of OJ that we did last week. The orange. Those, the orange, the zest. 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 That's, that's probably oh my, my favorite. Come on, what zest. is it? Zest. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> I loved it. But these peppermint cookies are a close second now. They're sneaky. All of a sudden, yeah. These are good. Did you get to try They're those good. last I did. week? That yeah. orange no. cranberry? I know. They were shortbread. I don't think I was here. Oh, sis. Oh, boy. No. That was good. Those were my favorite. Tonight. Okay, yeah. there we yeah. go. I'm so happy. Okay. So this one's a really simple one. This is going to be a double chocolate peppermint cookie. So let's talk first. We may have mint extract in mm -hmm. our pantries. That, my friends, is mint extract is great for like a mint julep. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a huge difference between peppermint and mint. Yeah. Just believe me when I tell you. You want the peppermint. Peppermint is what you're gonna want. So, and it takes such a small amount. I'm even gonna measure it. I know you all are shocked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, wanna... I never measure, but this is literally a quarter of a teaspoon. A little goes That's a long it. way. I mean. For these cookies. Those mm -hmm. cookies, it is stout. So I'm gonna have you mix it. We're gonna beat okay. in the egg. So I've gone ahead and beaded the one stick of butter with three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. There you go, you're doing great. So simple, and to make the, we're good. You're good now. Okay, we're good. You're good. It's just TV, Carl, that's what it's she just, says. Yeah, she <laughs> that's always you does need. that to me, she's like, oh no, we're good now. Yeah, that's, yeah we're good. Yeah. We it's, didn't even eat it's these. It's good for TV, yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I've just kind of mixed it, I'm just trying to make it more pleasing for everybody out there. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna just take that's our me. flour. That's me, And we our just cocoa. Like this this time? Here, we can just use this little yeah. spoon. And then this has got baking soda, baking powder, and a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna mix all of that together, because that's gonna make the chocolate. And this really tastes more like a soft brownie. And the reason you don't add the candies until the very end when they come out, is they will melt in the cookie, the, the candies mm -hmm. will, and then when you bite into it, mm. you're gonna hit something hard, and you're then gonna, gonna you've a got a broken tooth. Yeah, see the dentist. You want me to add a little? Yeah, we're gonna add a little. I just usually add about half. We just mix it half. in. You need me to come in here? Just, yeah, just, go just ahead, Tiger. Okay. All right, just talk amongst yourselves at home. Yep. I'll, I'm gonna I'll go keep ahead it on low, and I'll keep it on low. I'm gonna add a teaspoon or so of yep. vanilla in there, okay. just for a little liquid. We'll mix in a little more a little of the more. dry. Okay. okay. Let's go with the dry. There we go. Okay. How about okay. the rest of it? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dark chocolate chips is where it's at. Oh yeah. So keep mixing because okay. it's right. gotta look like cookie dough. I thought dip. I tasted okay. the dark chocolate. I know. I love dark chocolate. You want dark chocolate? Uh, absolutely. Mm. How to do it, sissy. Good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> okay. It'll take a minute to come together. Yeah, it looks a little dry. It I did. worry about that. Whoa. Uh -oh. It's gonna look a little dry, but you gotta you just keep guy? mixing it. Here, I'll do it. Oh. It's okay, girl. Right. Don't worry. And I was you just, worried. I know you were worried. I could see, see you. How does it feel when she has to take over for you? Yeah, no, well, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm like, she, I, she sets me up for failure. I do. I like <laughs> our viewers. The egg beaters, as high as they go. Oh no, that's terrible. No, I'll just do it by hand. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I love it when our viewers <laughs> come to stop me and they're like, that Carl and those uh, electrical uh, kitchen devices is my favorite. And I'm like, you yeah, just no can't do it. <laughs> He's just crazy with it. It's like his blind spot in life. <laughs> so what I do is I've got a little cookie dough. Same concept. You're gonna just take a bunch, yeah. like a golf ball. Use that if you want. Okay. Roll it. And then these cookies, you give the soft pat Light smash. To light pat. How long Whoop. in the oven, all that? We're gonna bake for about 10 to 11 minutes, and then when they come out, sprinkle some of the hard candy cane on top, mm -hmm. and boom, yeah. perfect gift to give. These are good, real good. So yummy. For your bus driver, perfect gift to give. <laughs> I've been giving a lot of bus driver gifts. Yeah, so. you have. I've Thanks for the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> There's more cookies, there you go. It so, was perfect gift. It was just gorgeous today. I know. Yeah. Sunshine. I know. It really was. I mean, today was absolutely perfect. It still quite doesn't feel like how December should, no. though. It, we're not getting into that holiday spirit when it comes to the weather by any means. My but leaves haven't even fallen completely. Really?